Hey guys, Master of Extreme 93, Part 36 in Diamond. In this episode, we're going to take out most of the uh, trainers in this gym. So, uh, we're going to go on hyper speed to face these trainers. Along with the trainers here, there's a bit of a puzzle where you have to take out these giant uh, snowballs in your way, other otherwise you can't get to the gym leader. But uh, it's not impossible to find out. Once you just learn how to skid across the ice floor, it's pretty easy from there. But first, we're going to take out the gym leaders first. No, not two gym leaders. Fail. Yes, I fail. Take out the gym trainers first. There. I said it. Uh, don't do too much, please. Oh, okay, that did more than I wanted it to do, so I'm just gonna switch out. <laughs> Got poison. Ugh. Thank you for dying. Yes, yes, I know, this episode is overdue. It's been about five days. And guess what? I've actually been busy! I know, right? I've been busy! Usually when I don't release these episodes on time, it's because I'm lazy. But this time, I actually had a lot of schoolwork to do. So, making these videos were, uh... Uh... Inconvenient when I could be working on projects that I've been doing. But I got the free time now to go ahead and record, so here you go. Not to mention lately, YouTube has been really crappy. I've heard lots of people have had problems with their uploads. My friend DG Maniac 456 uh, even earlier today, I heard a real virus saying that the uploads and processing is not working. I don't know what YouTube is up to, but it's just a real pain in the butt right now to try and upload videos. I mean, it will upload most people. For, mo for most people, it will upload, but then processing is what makes it take so long. And it's just unfortunate because uh, it's just another. It's, it's another potential delay trying to keep the video schedule, and then YouTube doesn't want to work, but, you know, it's just confusing, and it's just frustrating. And speaking of my friend, VG Maniac 456 uh, he suffered an accident a few days ago, uh, he w had to go to the hospital, uh, I wish you a speedy recovery, I hope you feel better, man, I um, hate that that happened to you. I just hope you get better soon. There's been so much drama lately with... Uh, Roar Oh, come on! Fake and gay. Ugh. Sit down, Lucas. There's just been so much drama lately. Uh, Roar of Virus' channel. And between the Pokemon Elite and... Giancarlo Perry Mango 11 and his girlfriend Brittany Coulson. I mean, nobody can seem to get along anymore. There's almost and there's just there's just too much fighting over pointless crap. Now it's not pointless in the sense that uh, we're fighting over nothing. I mean, all the fighting has been over something, but I mean. People just need to let go and just ignore each other. Uh, I applaud Aurora Virus for uh, just staying away from GN now. They can't get along, so they just don't need to be talking to each other. Now the fans for GN and Aurora Virus, they just won't stop talking about it. They gotta keep bringing it up, and then that's how the fight starts again, because the fans won't stop talking about it. It's just really frustrating, and it gets old. It gets old really quickly.
And, uh, I know I'm mostly on a War Virus' side, but, uh, I kinda do support every side a little bit. I don't really support Gene whatsoever because he's an asshole and he's a douchebag. And his girlfriend is just like a major whore. A major whore, I mean. <laughs> that's just how it is, but... I mean, there's a side to each of the stories, and... Well... The one thing I don't appreciate what Gene's doing is that he tells his side of the story, and then... Based off a lot of stuff that War Virus has told me and other people have told me is that Gene will delete any comments that is left on his channel that is defending a war virus or something. So he doesn't like the he doesn't like the freedom of opinion towards the other people's side of the story. So you can tell how Gene is so biased like that. I, mean, I don't know what is going on with the Pokemon Elite LPE. Uh, it seems to me he's freaking out over nothing. And I mean nothing. He is going uh mad and he's raging over the fact that War Virus is long overdue on a shoutout video that he was supposed to give LPE. But War Virus told LPE that you have to wait until after my surgery this coming up Friday and then I'll give it to you or something. But no, he gets impatient because he only worries about getting the subs and the popularity and the views and the fame. I told him myself, LPE, you need to chill. YouTube is not a popularity contest. You care this much about subs and fame? No. Just no. Don't don't be like Jan. Don't don't be, man. You're better than that. I've known you I've known you LP for a while. I knew you when you had seven hundred subs and you were doing like a hard gold or soul silver LP or something. I know you man. Don't think that I don't know you, because I do. Just be yourself, man. Don't be acting like, you know, you're a copy of Jean or nothing. Be yourself and and stop with the with the AV crap, okay? And now I understand there's another argument. It's not just about the shoutout. It's about about the fact that there were some comments about a war virus being racist against Mexicans. And I've never seen these comments. I've never. I, I don't understand where the, these rumors are coming from. But trust me, dude. I know war virus just as just as much, if not more, than I know you. And he's definitely not racist. I've known him, okay. He's not racist. So both of y'all, including Jan, all, all three of all, everybody, y'all just need to stop. I didn't want to turn this walkthrough video into a rant, but that's what it's becoming because I just gotta get this off my chest. Everybody needs to stop. This is all Pokemon. It's all Pokemon, okay? On, on the internet, on YouTube, it's Pokemon. Why does there have to be this much drama? Just make videos for your fans and just leave each other alone. It's, it's not that complicated, it's not really. That turned into something bigger than it already is, but just chill. I mean, I'm not going to tell you that uh, you're not allowed to get into a flame war and defend yourself when these issues arise, but the problem is that y'all carry, carry on these problems for, for too long and you're just dragging on it and it doesn't ever get dropped. I'm telling you, drop it already. Well, if I can get focused on my video, which I haven't really been focusing on whatsoever. As you can see, Roserade grew to level 42. This is another trainer battle. I'm gonna throw out Lucas. Use Aero Ace, and that's it. Not much of a challenge. Go ahead and use Bite. I'm not flinch. Uh, it doesn't matter. Use Amnesia, which is not going to frustrate me because I don't have any special attacks. All of Golbat's moves are physical. Well, of course! Confusion! Don't you know it? Come on, come on. Yes, good. Flinch! Flinch! Uh, not a yawn.
I know I should not have done this, but I just want to get rid of the confusion, so I just used full heal. Now go back to sleep because of the yawn. I should have waited until after he was going to sleep to use the full heal, but I was stupid. I didn't pay attention. So he's amnesia again. Waste of a turn. Come on, wake up. I, I just hope it doesn't confuse me, because that will just piss me off. Okay, good. Uh, please, no confusion. Uh, uh, okay, no confusion, but now I'm getting a lot of HP. Yes! Okay, good. Use fly. Thank you. Now, wouldn't it be my luck if I was to miss or something? Come on, hit. Okay, good. Oh, you die. Thank you for dying. Level 42 for go that. And now, everybody on my team is level 42. And I think that's all the uh, trainers here. I think that is. Man, I'm getting stuck here. Hold on. If I miss even one trainer here, it's not much of a worry. I'm getting close to the end of this video anyway, so I'm not going to try to squeeze in any more trainer battles. I'm just going to go run over here to the Pokemon Center. Uh, while I heal up, I also turn off Hyper Speed since there's going to be no more battles. Now, I'm just going to show you how to clear all those snowballs in your way. There's no specific pattern in order of what you're supposed to do, but I'm just going to show you the, the one that I use. I know where to go now. Go up here. Go down. Go down again. Okay, good. Uh, we got the majority of them out of the way now. Hmm. Now I just gotta see how to get these three. Oh, damn it, I see, I see now. I did something wrong, but I got it. Go here, stay to the right, hit the snowball, then go down. Okay. Go across here, go to the left, hit this one ball, and then go across. Okay, one more to go. Just one more to go. You gotta see how to get this one. I always forget this one for some reason. I think I see. Okay, here we go. Let's move across there, and they're out of the way. Well, that's pretty much it for this episode of Diamond. Next episode, we're going to take on the 7th Gym Leader. This is Mox, and I'm signing out.